Carly Cornell. And I'm Harvey Cornell and we are Dragon Phoenix Games. Today we want to introduce you to the Dragon Trappings expansion of Storm Dragons. Um, we'll be showing you a couple of things that we haven't shown before about Storm Dragons, uh, plus we'll show you the new expansion. Yeah, and so the first thing you need to do to play with the expansion, well first, the expansion has five new dragon types, one new storm type, and eight unique item cards. And uh, you, we'll see how to use those uh, later, but first we have to uh, get the game set up, and we haven't shown you a draft in previous videos, so you get a chance to here to see us do a draft. But before we can draft, we have to set the deck up. And so what we're doing for the Dragon Trappings is we want to substitute cards in uh, for cards in the deck because for the draft to work the way it's written out in the rules, we need to maintain the deck size. For a two to four player game, you play with one deck of 81 cards and you can play with either one of the two decks. Uh, so we took the base deck and then uh, the rules tell you uh, a recommended set of uh, substitutions. And so I substituted all of the cards in the Dragon Trappings expansion, which is 20 cards, uh, according to the recommended uh, cards yeah. to replace. So. The list is there. It will have instructions for you in the final rule set. Yeah, uh, and so they've already been uh, substituted in. So we have a deck of 81 cards that includes all the new cards. And this is the first round of the draft already set up and ready to go. So we'll go through the draft. And then after we that do that, we'll we'll play a little we'll, bit to show you. Yeah, and show you include uh, how to use the new items and cards as we go. Mm -hmm. So why don't you want to start the draft, Carly? Sure. So we have nine sets of three cards, and she's going to pick one set of three cards as her initial draft. Okay. So one of the things that we've learned uh, playing with the expansion is that the items are actually awfully attractive and useful and falling too far behind on acquiring items is difficult to overcome let's just say. So um, in this draft we have uh, two stacks that have items in them. This has one item and this one has two. It's a, it's a no-brainer for me. Well the other card is an assassin so yeah, well, so yeah. a really attractive set. It's a good set. So, um, I've got the Energizer Torque, and the Razorback, and an Assassin. Okay, so, so now the way the draft works, she got to go first, so she gets one set. Now, I'm going to go second and get a set, but then we it's a snake draft, so I'll get to go again. So, I'm going to get two sets in a row. And, lest I get too far behind on items, <laughs> I'm going to take the one other set that's got an item. And so the item I'm getting is Tail Spikes, and my other two cards are a Spy Dragon and a Squall Storm. But there are no more items, so now I'm going to get one other set and it won't have items. So let me look around. Oh, I think mm -hmm. I see... I see two. Th there's two mm -hmm. obviously nice cards. Uh, and sets. sets of cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some other ones there's that are some... not bad, mm -hmm. but... Here we have a Duchess, which is a new card, new dragon, a Warlord, and an Elder. And this one also has a Duchess, but there's only two Duchesses, so that's all of them. And a Dreadnought, which is a new dragon, and a Queen. Um, I think I'm going to take the Duchess, Dreadnought, and Queen. Yeah, so, that's the right choice. So then we go back to Carly, and she would... Now I'm she's going to get one. two sets. And then I will snake again, so I will take another one. Um, I'm going to take the other one that Harvey was looking at, the Elder, Warlord, and Duchess. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, the, at this point, there are... Uh, five sets left. Five sets left. I'm going to get one more, and that's it for this round of the draft. And I'll get one more also. And he'll get one more. Um, and I see a Storm Rider and a Dreadnought with a Squall, and I see an Awakener, a Storm Rider, and a Conjurer. Um, this one's stronger, but this one is a Queen with two Storms. And I just picked up... I don't have a Queen yet. 
I need to overcome that. I, I think I'm just going to take that. Well, this is kind of tough because I this one's two storms and an outrider, and it's mm -hmm. not bad, but it's actually the weakest set in my opinion. I'm not going to pick that. I'm going to go ahead and move it out of the way because I'm taking the last set, and the other ones are going to be put aside. On it, so I'm not taking that one for sure. You're doing it on elimination. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate. I, this got a storm caller, an outrider, and a gollumancer. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Both of these have storm riders. Mm -hmm. This one's got a dreadnought and a squall. I've already got a dreadnought. Yeah. I don't have an awakener. You know, He's fun. I, I yeah. kind of like that. And I haven't had an using dragon. Yeah. You know, it's it's really tough call, but I'm thinking I'll take a storm rider, awakener, the new dragon, and a conjurer. That means these other two are Those not two are going to go away. So now I'm going to deal another set mm -hmm. of nine sets of three. Yeah, and the numbers are adjusted a little bit per player count, um, but this is how it works for two. Yeah, if, if you're new to Storm Dragons, and uh, I say... We have this draft mechanism. Now, we don't recommend people use it until they start to get somewhat familiar with the um, the cards. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I know. There's another double item There's a item two and a set. one again on the items. Um, but once you're familiar, at least somewhat mm -hmm. familiar, with the cards, this is definitely a way to go and over just dealing cards and you just get some random set. This is a much better way to go. Okay, so now Curly was first pick on the last set of nine, so that means I'll be first pick on this set of nine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kind of do what Carly did, is <laughs> the one that's got two items. items. <laughs> so I'm going to get this one that's, it's got, all three items are from the expansion. I've got the items flea collar, and that's flea as in run away. And then there's commander's helm, and the other one is the new warder dragon. He's a good one to have. So, With these items, the Warder Dragon prevents um, the items from messing with you. I am going to take the other stack that has an item in it. It has a Thunderstorm, a Cyclone, and Steel Claws. I've and, got then a lot Car of and then Carly gets a, a Snaking back, so she'll get mm -hmm. to go again. Yeah. No more items left in this set. Nope. There's a Cyclone, one of the new storms, and Awakener. I, I just picked up a, a Cyclone, but here's mm. the thing. I have just picked up a whole pile of storms. I'm going to pick this up. Another, Another queen. queen. And a Warder. So I've got one. a Queen, a Warder, and a Cloudburst in this pile, and um, that makes me happy. It's your turn. Okay, now I get, now I'm snaking, so I will get two picks before we go back to Oops. Carly. And my baby. Hmm have a dog under my feet. That's what's going on here. Mm. Well, this one's got a juggernaut and two storms. One of both those being the, the Tempest gives, that gives you plus one oh, yeah. to all That's your storms. And then um, here I can take a storm caller, a juggernaut, and a gollumancer. That seems pretty good. Okay, and you're finished then. And you get, and one, I more. get one more. So, uh... There's a couple good piles here. This one has a Juggernaut and two Storms. This one has an Awakener, a Cloudburst, and a Sentinel. Handy to have a Sentinel for controlling day and night. Um, this has an Elder who is always a good dragon to have. Um, and that's got a Storm Caller. Dang. Tough choice. But I think I'll take the Awakener, the Cloudburst, and the Sentinel. Okay, so the last three find, sets are put into the... the I find the discard. Awakener uh, amusing to use. He's, he says, take any dragon from your discard and add it to your hand. So you get to do that during play, which is sometimes amusing. Okay, and there's that, another item. item on that set. There should, there should be, one, be more one more in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. There are eight items. We've picked up six. And this should be the last item right on this set. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're... And going. they're split, so it should be easy. You know, the one of the first times we played this with the items this way, I had like six items to Carly's two, and we quickly found out 
that was a big advantage for me. And so now it's a struggle to make sure you don't get way behind in the items. And it yeah, should I be possible can, to have a I full force split this way. Still, you, you can still win with, with good um, tactics and uh, good dragon choice um, if, you're, if you have fewer than half. But uh, you don't want to be too It's lopsided. definitely an advantage to have Some more items. items. Well, you'll see why, because the way they, they play a little bit differently than the other cards, and there's an advantage to the way they work. Is Oh, this one's mine, mm -hmm. and then the next one's yours. Yeah, you're first this time. Okay. Uh, see, so the first time we put nine cards out, she was first. The second time we put nine, card, uh, nine sets out, I was first. Now, this is the third time, and she's first. And then we're going to take all the leftovers and make up another set of nine, and I'll be first, so it all balances out. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to get one set, and he's going to get two. I think if I don't take... If you don't take an item, an you'll get a chance to get both of them. You'll take both of them. I, th I think there's a good chance of that, especially... But this is yeah, the obvious this is the one. obvious choice. I've got a Phoenix Dragon, he's one of the new ones, a Warlord, which I don't have yet. Always a good idea to have a Warlord and a Dragon Light, so I will take that. So then I'll go ahead and make sure I get the last item. So I, the Dragon item I got was a Lightning Harness, and I also got a Blizzard and a Prince, which I'm That's happy right. to have both. Yeah, Blizzards and, are cool. And then I still get one more set. You know, I don't... I think I got an assassin yet, and there's still one, one out there. here. Yeah. So I'm going to take an assassin, a dawnbringer, and a prince. And then we're back to Carly. Really? She gets she gets two more. To the last two she gets out of this set, and then I get one more. Pooh, tough choices. Um, I see. I'm going to take this stack. It's got an outrider. Another phoenix, that I think that's the the other phoenix, and a storm rider. Uh, I find the storm rider amusing. This one. It's a hailstorm, a king, and a tempest. Uh, the tempest is a very useful storm, but I, I want more storms because of my queens. So, mm. And my storm rider, for that matter. Well, um... I think I'm going to go up here to get a king, a sentinel, because I don't know that I had a sentinel oh, yet to go. be able to change yeah. a knight, and then a conjurer. There's another one that had a sentinel, but I had prince and dawnbringer, and I've already got like a couple of princes. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a king, so I think I want the king. Now, we pick these up, and now all cards that weren't selected in the first three rounds are left over, and we're going to mix them up and make one last set of nine stacks. Mm, a double Gollomancer stack. <laughs> Somehow I think maybe that won't get selected. I don't know. I don't know. That's a triple storm stack. Bet you that doesn't get it selected. I bet you this one does. <laughs> yeah, with a Dreadnought, Stormcaller, and Outrider. Yeah, I would think so. This one might also. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad what he said either. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I already see three really good sets. This is another triple storm. Okay. We're going to take You're six of first. these. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, well, that one that I was pointing to, Dreadnought, Storm, Collar, and Outrider, is a little hard to pass up. Mm hmm. So I guess I won't pass it up. Right. Well, this one that has a storm collar, a spy, and a juggernaut is a, a good choice also. I will take that. And then... Uh, the only thing is... Boy, I'd sure like to have a Dawnbringer. But I'm not sure I want to have her more than I want to have two elders. Or a storm rider and an outrider. I 
think two elders in a windstorm. Your turn. Well, I don't know that I have an abundance of storms right now. I think you don't. No, so I think I get two sets though. If I get a Storm Rider, Outrider, and Thunderstorm, it gets one extra. But then I maybe I think I'm just going to come over here and get three storms, just because I don't usually do that, and I want to see what happens if I build mm -hmm. up my storms a little bit. Okay. All right, it's uh, one more set. I'm going to take this one because I still want my Dawn Brand. Okay, so now the remaining cards are out of play. We won't use them in this game. Okay, so we want to cut our decks a little bit because we want to have a, a shorter game for this demo here. Um, and before we do that... But we have to take our items, items first, I think. Yeah, you need to pull out the items that you got in the draft. Should have a fourth one in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So you're gonna play with your items in front of you. It's your treasure. Did I trove. not get four? Oh, here it is. It's hidden up. Yeah, that's your. Yeah, your treasure trove. Treasure. That's what you called it. Stash. I called it, but yeah, it's actually called stash in the rules. Unless you want to change it. No, it was a. Well, whatever. Um. So we're just going to put them in front of us uh, because you can access an item at any time. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest of them, we should have an additional 32 cards here, but we want to show you some, a little bit shorter game. So we're mixing them up and going to just keep 20. 20. So yeah, so just be aware that we're showing you a little bit shortened game. Yeah. Right. Okay, so with your with your items out there, uh, then you, we've created our decks and just the draw normal five. draw five to start the game. That's the same rule as before. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you should go first because you were the first on the last round. Hmm. I think that's what the rules say. Mm. Yeah, I guess the the mm -hmm. theory being that the last round might be the weakest round because it's got all leftovers. Although it turns out it wasn't really bad. It wasn't at all. all that weak around. <laughs> but that's that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the if you look at it, the rules say uh, the youngest player goes so goes first. Mm -hmm. But either way, I win. Yeah, you do. <laughs> So, uh, but we just did out in the middle until we see who has uh, whether we're going to play in the control. day or the night. First of all, well, and you know, uh, I'm going to start out by playing a Gollumancer, and you know, Gollumancer has the uh, ability to get into your victory pile, but I don't have one, so it has an alternate thing to say just to just discard it, draw one more card, and then take another turn. Did you choose day or night? I did not. Um, let's say. To. <laughs> well, let's say I'm going to be in the day, then that's fine. And then I'm going to play a conjurer, and that will let me to draw three dragons. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar, I draw cards, and whenever I draw a storm, and this something's not a dragon, I go ahead and put it in my discard and keep drawing. I have to show it to everybody so they know it was a storm. And once I have three cards in my hand that are dragons, then I can pick one to put into my hand. Well, let me look at my hand and see what would go well with it. Okay, so I'm going to discard these two and put this one in my hand. And then I'll put my conjurer into my dragon flight. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when I play, the, the items can be played at any time, but you can play them two different ways. You can either play a dragon and attach an item to it as you play it. So you're playing the two cards if you have a, an item that you want to play. Or 
if you already have some cards played and there's a dragon there, you can your turn, whole turn could be just to add an item to a dragon that's already in play that does not have an item in that each dragon can only have one item. So I could, if I wanted, add one of these items onto the card. Um, let me see. And you know what? I think I will. I'm going to play it with a lightning harness. Now what the lightning harness does is each turn I will get to draw a card from my deck and if it's a storm I get to add it to my hand. And that includes the turn I played it. So I'm going to draw one card. It is a storm so I will add it to my hand. Now I have a score of three so I'm also moving the token up in front of my mat to show that I am currently in control with my lofty your Powerful big old three. three. Big old big three. Old three. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Texas thing. Um, Actually, it's a big bang thing. Well, it started in Texas. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a Sentinel and change it to Knight. You may reassess your score. And I still have three. I have six, and I will take control. Well, okay then. I think I'm going to play one of the new dragons, the Duchess. And what the Duchess ha lets me do is draw two cards and add them to my hand. And then discard any two cards I want to from my hand. Uh, I'll discard that. And... about that. And I still also have the option to add this, add an item to this if I wanted to. You also haven't done your lightning harness thing. Right, I can do that any point during yes, the turn of I course, want. I understand. Just saying. But thank you, thank you. Um, do I want to use another item at the same time? Well, if I just put this down here, I'm going to have seven. Oh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm just going to play it and put it on top because that's going to bring me up to seven and give me control. And then I'll use my lightning harness to look, and that is not a storm, so I don't get it. Okay. Now... Uh, it is nighttime, so I'm going to play a spy, and his nighttime ability says opponents discard one wing or tail dragon. And that's your conjurer with his lightning harness. Okay, now here's the first time this has happened. Um, when a dragon that has an item uh, is discarded, the dragon is discarded, and the item goes back into your treasure stash. If he had been defeated, it would have been out of the game. But because he just discarded, I get the item back. Yeah, basically um, what happens to the dragon happens to the item as well. And it just returns to its previous state. So I'm going to play my spy, um, and he's going to go at the tail. And I guess it doesn't matter much which one's on the front. Yep, yeah, doesn't matter. So I've got four and three is seven, which means I take control. Okay, so now I'm not drawing a card to see if it's a storm because I don't have that out right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play an Outrider and I'm going to put tail spikes on it. <laughs> and the tail spikes double the tail value. Since it's nighttime, it's got a four tail. So I've got a five head value on that. A four doubled is eight on the tail. It's bringing me to 13. And two more from the Duchess is 15. 
And I don't think I need control. to challenge. And it takes control. I don't think I need to challenge because you're going to have to take control away from me to keep me from winning anyway. Mm -hmm. Because the Outrider's ability is if it, it becomes my turn again and I still have control, I can choose to end the battle right there. Or if I think I'm still doing good, I could wait and see if she'll put some more dragons out there for me to win. I think I might. I'm going to put out an Outrider and I'm going to use my Steel Claws. My Steel Claws say uh, play with a dragon in your flight or from your hand, then down any opponent's head dragon. So his Outrider goes out of play. Okay. It stays there. It's downed. Oh. Okay, so it's, it's actually on the bottom then. Mm -hmm. And I have 9 on the Outrider, 10, 11, 12, and 3 is 15. Now it's my turn to have 15 with an Outrider. And uh, uh, hell, it's inviting him to use an Assassin, but let's go ahead and let it ride. Your turn. Okay, well, if it gets back to her and she's in control, then she will oh, get I to end the control. battle. So, why don't we... But that only works if it's nighttime. Why don't we switch it to daytime with my Sentinel? Okay, which fine. will leave me with still with a six, but in the day... I have seven so in the day. You're still in control, of, but you can't use the Outrider's special ability. No, I cannot. Oh, wait a minute. Did I want to put something on top of the Sentinel, the item? Um, no. I'm not going to add anything, any items to that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play a king who says I may take one dragon from my flight and return it to my hand. And so she gets so to take So my outrider comes into my hand and the item attached to him goes back to my uh, store stash. because he's still available, which means it's still available. Like I say, what happens to the dragon happens to the thing, the item. And then I will put my king in play and I will have nine, which means I am still in control. I'm going to challenge, which gives me a plus one, so I'm at ten. And he's got one turn now to try to defeat me. Which is easier with the items, but... <laughs> I have several different ways to get to 10, I think. <laughs> Which is just so much nonsense. <laughs> he has to beat my score in order to defeat my challenge. Now he can do that by lowering my score or raising his. Both work. Well, okay, I'm not going to be able to get above 10, but I could choose to play my flea collar. You could. And get one of these back. Mm -hmm. But I think I will. I'm going to let Carly just, I'm going to yield and let her have that. Okay. So I get all the things. And at the end of the game, what counts is, if, you know, if, the, if you don't know Storm Dragons yet, um, uh, what counts is we will count one point for each dragon in the victory pile. So. And anything that was left in your hand, your draw, or discard also right. go to your victory pile. So everything yeah. you have left, just count the dragons. Okay. So we finished a battle, um, and now what we're going to do is draw up two 
And if we are not at 5, we draw up to 5. Um, that's what worked for me. Now, if you get out early or you drew extra cards or something, you might have more than 5. That's okay. No hand limit. Yeah, it's not a hand limit. It's just draw 2, but then you have to have at least 5 unless you run out and you can't get to 5. Mm -hmm. Now, since Carly won out of the battle, she will choose day or night and lead first card of this round of battle. I think I'm going to try night time again. <clears throat> That's uh, always a risky proposition because assassins operate at night. Just saying. And we each have one, so don't know when they'll come out. But I'm going to go ahead and try to play at night and I will start with Uh, an Outrider, who gives me nine. Your turn. I will play a Tempest. No score, but uh, what that does for me is she has that ability at night to end the battle and she is winning right now but mm -hmm. maybe she doesn't want to end the battle because I didn't put there's any no dragons, dragons out there out. for her to there's win. There's no points. The, I mean I have one point that I will take because I have a dragon out here but yeah he may be right I may not want to. Okay. Um, then I do not. I'm going to play uh, Duchess, which is draw two, and then discard two to my draw pile or my victory pile. Um, hmm. I will discard these two cards and then the Duchess goes in and I think I'm going to put her um, at the tail so that I now have 11 and my Outrider is still on top which means again I could end it if I wanted to on the next turn if I'm still in charge and mm -hmm. control. Well, I'm going to play another storm. I'm going to play a hailstorm, which would cause her to lose, uh, discard a storm if she had one, but she didn't have one. I'm just going to put it out in my storm front and still have no score. <laughs> By this time, see what else I come up with. <laughs> um, on this turn, I'm going to play my Razorback. The Razorback says, uh, play with the dragon in your flight or from your hand. So this time I'm going to play to my flight. Um, and I'm going to add both day and night values for the dragon when counting battle strength. Uh, tail values, rather. So um, I'm going to put this on the Duchess. And she has a tail strength of 3 and 2 if I add them together this way. So now she's got a, a 5 and a 9 is 14. And... I'm going to see if he's going to play a stinking dragon. Alright, so I'm going to play a dreadnought, but I'm going to add a flea collar to it. <laughs> <laughs> the dreadnought is going to give me eight points, and now my storms can come into play, although I've got a one and a zero, but plus one on each one. So I've got three over there and eight there, so I now have 11 points. But the advantage of the flea collar is... Uh, 
if she were to end the battle now, a dragon with the flea collar can Run remove away. the flea collar from the game, but the card goes back to my discard pile, so she still won't get any dragon cards from me. <laughs> so back to you, sweetheart. At some point, here's the thing. Um, I've got two dragons out there right now, and I'm not going to get one from him. Not yet. But I... Uh, but now I've played a dragon. I am allowed to yield. Yep, you are. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to end this thing, and I'm going to keep my dragons at least. And then I'll have to get rid of my flea collar. Well, yeah. I just put it in the victory pile because it, it doesn't not matter. For anything. But, and my storms go into there... So, yeah, you got so, the points for your stuff. At some point, I, I decided it was time to claim the dragons that I had, and because he's obviously playing, I'm not going to play a dragon game with me. So fine, <laughs> I'll take mine. <laughs> so I'm now we draw, draw two, <laughs> and that does not bring me to five. So I, it brings me to four. So I get one more. Okay, it did bring me to five. So I'm done with that. And I won that hand, so that Once battle, again, you're gonna leave. I'm going to choose again. Whether we play in the day or the night. I'm going to try daytime this time. And two can play this storm game. I'm going to play a storm, so I do not have control at this time. Or a score. There's... In a dragon battle, you have to have a dragon to get a score. Mm-hmm. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I'm going to play a prince, which will allow me to draw a card. And then... Put the prince in my flight. In daytime, he's worth six. So, seeing as you don't even have a score, that's You're automatically going to put me in control. I am going to play a phoenix dragon. And that gives me seven in the day. Uh, the phoenix says, on any turn he can explode. The enemy must turn a dragon from their flight face down, and then I discard this card. Which means it's going to go in my discard pile and come back sometime. It's going to go in your discard pile sooner than you sooner, think. Because I'm going to play a blizzard and make you discard, make discard your it. dragon. Uh-huh, fine. And now uh, I don't have a score again. And I'm going to gain one point. And you get that. Okay. I just didn't need that guy sitting out there. Fine for you. Okay, I'm going to play a Windstorm. You're going to put it on top Still, of the other one? Uh, the Tempest oh, just no, got no, a plus no, he's one. he's got plus ones. So, uh, no. Nope. The, and the night effect doesn't count yeah, it doesn't, for a day. It's not, not useful, but he's got a big old score in the day. So. Once you have a If I a ever dragon. get a dragon out there. Well, I'm going to play... A Dawnbringer, and I'm going to give it a I'm give it the Commander's Helm. Uh, and it would allow me to change it to day if it's not day, but it is day, so I'm not doing its instant effect. Although as long as I've got it on top, I have the permanent effect, or ongoing effect, that it's permanent day. So, I'm going to get 7, 8, 9, 10, and then the Commander's Helm will give me an extra point of the Prince to bring me to 11. Okay, I am going to play a Warlord. He is a 7 plus three until my next turn. So that gives me 10 and six for my storms, which is 16, and I am going to challenge at 17. Okay, 
I'm going to play a storm color. I'm going to take your windstorm. Fine. And thirteen. Then I'm going to put my storm color on top. So now I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen. It's enough. Okay, you win. But here's the thing. That was the last card I had that was useful. So I had really no choice. Yeah. <laughs> now my draw pile's gone, so I'm gonna have to shuffle my discard pile. Okay. I am going to draw two and then draw up to five, so. And I have the same problem. I'm gonna draw two and I'll have to draw one more to get to five. Okay. My goodness. This looks like a good round to play at night. I'm going to start with a Gallimancer at night, which means I can go back in here and find a card to put in my hand. I, I cannot take the items or the storms. I can only take a dragon because the Gallimancer is reanimating a dragon. Or well, he's a creating a dragon. Creating a golem out of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to, and I also, also get to play a card as well. So not only does that happen, but another card comes out. It doesn't have to be the one you took, but it could be. Um, but I'm going to put my Storm Rider out with the Lightning Harness on him, which lets me draw... You can't with... go there in the night. Oh, that's right. If you're going to play at night. That's a daytime ability. Well... Um, well, why don't I put a joker knot out with a lightning harness on? You could do that. And anyway, then I'll look and it's not a storm and I don't get it. But that brings me up to nine. Okay. Well, this is a good time. I'm going to play an assassin and it is night which means I take one enemy dragon and add it to my victory pile. I'm going to take his juggernaut with his lightning harness. Ha 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 ha, you me... fell into my trap. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, I just uh, got four points against his, what's left, three. Mm -hmm. So I take control for the moment. He's and got then something I play sneaky. my outrider. Uh huh. Now I'm back at nine, and I'm back at control. Uh huh. She used up her assassin. I did. I, now I put the real card I wanted to play out. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And then I'm gonna play my steel claws, which downs an an opponent's head dragon. And that puts me at six. Puts me at three. I get control. And it's your turn. That kind of guy, guys are sneakier and meaner, but they don't score as much. <laughs> Not always. The Outrider's pretty so, good. Yeah, Outrider's good. good dragon. Well, I guess I'll have to assassinate this guy. I'll assassinate well, your fine. assassin. <laughs> Ten, now and then I'm pull out your spy and pull him back. Well, well that's a daytime ability. Are you a king? Uh, I don't like what I've got here. I've got, I'm, I'm going to discard three cards, because you can do this anytime. 
discard and draw up one less and then one fewer I suppose and then you can play. I am going to play my Awakener who says take any dragon from your discard and add it to your hand. So I think I'll add this one. Does have to be and a dragon, right? Yes, it says a dragon. Yeah. Um, and I've got six points, which, gives which you control. means I've got control. And okay, I'm going to play a Warlord. Put him on top. It should give me seven plus three till my next turn is ten, plus one is eleven, and I'm going to challenge at twelve. That isn't going to work, and that isn't going to work. I have to yield. Okay, so... Then my <laughs> if down this dragon is, is yeah, victory, you get to but, save him. Yeah. yeah. So he had four dragons that just went into his victory pile against my one. So I didn't lose a lot, but he gained a lot by saving his dragons. Mm hmm So draw up again, and I'm going to have to draw four Two. cards to get to five. And I'm at five. Uh, I guess I don't do that until it's time to actually draw again, so... Okay, um, this is, I'm going to need to win something here. You started out <laughs> strong, but I'm, I'm yeah, you're, you've roaring been, back. You've been coming back. Yeah, but I think so. I want to play during the day. Okay. And then I'm going to play a conjurer. Draw three dragons. Let's see. That's not a dragon, so I guess I'm keeping that one. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, but you drew up your last card. That would mean nope. that this, you drew it up, and then you discarded it back again. But there's... No, that's, that's not Oh, the, no, you didn't, because you did... That, wasn't that immediately gets it discarded. Wasn't yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So. So uh, not yet. I'm in control with a... Score of two. Two. Might be able to beat that. In the day. Let's play an elder for seven. I beat that. You <laughs> did. <laughs> Let's play a Storm Rider. Since it's day, I can put it over there now. Mm -hmm. For four points to bring me up to a six. I'm going to play a Windstorm, which will give me four more points, which puts me at 11. Your turn. I am going to play a Juggernaut to, to get nine plus four is thirteen, and I'm going to go ahead and challenge at fourteen. Okay. Um. Okay, I yield. Hmm. I didn't know my chances were very good, but I wasn't going to get much higher, so mm -hmm. just decided to gamble. <laughs> and then I will draw up my last card. I'm playing short, I've only got four cards. You still got a couple items. I do. Sometimes it's hard to find just the perfect moment. Mm hmm. Okay. And you get to choose again. Okay. Let's play at night. Okay. Maybe a chance for you to use your dragon light, huh? 
if you don't like maybe. that. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to play my warder. You rat. So that means you can't do negative things to me. And that's going to give me seven. Boo. Um, I will play a cyclone. No, no storm, no score, it's a storm. I'm going to add a squall to get to nine. At this point, I think she's stalling, trying not to put a dragon out. Uh, I'm going to play a storm caller and take your storm. Which will give me five and five, which is ten against your. No, you have plus points there. Plus a point. Oh yeah, eleven, twelve, and I'm going to challenge at thirteen. No, yeah. too rich for me. <laughs> okay. Give me one lousy little dragon. <laughs> but my last two cards go into my. Pile and yeah. all of her cards go into her pile. Mm -hmm. Just count dragons. You won. Uh, 15. 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. 14. 15, Very 14. Close. Close game. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you too. All right. So that's how Storm Dragons plays with the new uh, Dragon Trappings expansion. Um, we will be on GameFound with uh, a crowdfunding in a couple of weeks, and we hope you'll join us there and get yourself hold of some of these items. They're great. Man, it's unlike the regular game. It's so cool that they're available to you at any time instead of having to be limited to what's in your hand. Mm -hmm. It's very powerful yeah. to have them sitting there waiting to be used whenever you need them. Yeah, it can be, it can give you a little bit more strategery in in a game that's very high, very tactical. Mm -hmm. So, we hope you enjoy and thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for joining us. All right, All right bye bye. bye.